All of the water that's used by City of Loveland customers is collected in a series of pipes and ends up here, is treated here, and released back to the Big Thompson River. We put it back in actually in better quality than what it was when we took it out upstream at our water plant. So in 2015, new regulations were handed down by the state and the EPA. We had about five years to bring the plant into compliance with the new rules. And also we were, we were approaching capacity as well as just at the useful life of some of our equipment. This project is a renovation project for the city of Loveland. And this process that we're using is a little bit unique as this is the first time that we are using construction manager at risk as a delivery method for this project. We bring the contractor on in the design phase and he participates through the design phase and he actually builds the project through the construction phase. The big reason that we're utilizing this particular method in lieu of the traditional design bid build is value to our customers at the end of the day. You're able to have the contractor participate all the way through the design and give constructability advice, real-time cost, and we're gonna have a better, high-quality project. This model really is a way to work together and solve problems, save time, save money, increase scope, and just do good things for the city. The design phase lasted from September of 2015 through April of 2017, and the construction phase lasted from April of 2017 through October of 2019. The project finished slightly under budget and on schedule from a construction standpoint and ahead of schedule with regards to the compliance schedule for biological nutrient removal. The major improvements completed as part of this project included the addition of a new return activated sludge anoxic tank, the screening improvements at the Headworks facility, which added step screen technology, mixing and aeration improvements to all six of our existing aeration basins, and digester improvements, which included a new and upsized digester facility, which was necessary to meet the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment redundancy criteria with regards to capacity and storage. So this is the main structure where everything from the collection system comes into play. This was completely redone. All of these different manholes were built. Throughout the whole treatment plant in the aeration basins, all of the aeration was updated with all new pipes, new valves, new automation. So there's all new diffusers in the bottom of this, all new valving. These are the two basins that had to be put into play, had to be uh, designed and fabricated so that we could do uh, biological phosphorus removal. So this removes the nitrogen, that removes the phosphorus, and that was part of the Reg 85. So we're standing on the top of our brand new digesters. These are anaerobic digesters. They're about a million gallons a piece. The way we look at digesters is we look at how much detention time we have in them. And you want to have at least 15 days. Here we have way over that. We're somewhere around 50 days. So we're definitely set on digester capacity. These are really nice state-of-the-art digesters. They've got everything, all the bells and whistles, and we're really happy with them, and they do a really good job. We were able to complete this project on time within the budget the city council had approved for us. And we were able to add a lot of other ancillary work to this project to make it even better using the construction manager at risk model. So a true testament to the teamwork and collaboration through this project, we were able to complete the project with the end user, the residents and businesses really unaware of all the changes that were taking place at the plant. This expansion will allow the city of Loveland to grow for another 15 to 20 years, so this is gonna set us up very well for the future.